What up, what up? Oh, it's Garage Gym, homie. And today I'm reviewing Elysium pre-workout formula. Is it worth it? Before I get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you from health food reviews, supplement reviews, gizmos, gadgets, goodies, all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there. So click subscribe and let's get into this man freaking vibing out here man it is a beautiful summer day man just embracing every single dang day that's in front of me man summer winter make no difference to me man i'm feeling i'm feeling high every day man i've been blessed by god and uh i'm just feeling the buzz man but i will take that sunshine man here in uh right outside detroit michigan so let's get down to business here freaking go this is the uh only thing i've reviewed by this company i'm pretty sure this is their uh flagship product here this is what they came out with and uh the owner is super freaking nice super supportive of the channel but that doesn't mean i'm here to freaking shine any dang schlongs today you know what i mean you know what i mean man i'm just here to give it to you straight man just here to give it to you straight, man. So I hope you're feeling good too, man. Let's talk about this. So this is a blue Raz flavor, and uh, they're they're claiming energy, focus, pump, and 30 servings. So let's talk about the facts here. Is this Elysium talking facts or feelings? This is made in the USA. We like that, man. We like that. So um. Yeah, right here, Ethereal, Ethereal Labs, right here made in the USA. I like that because these companies that I don't really know, I have this weird fear that some company one day is going to send me a pre-workout, and I'm not going to know where it was manufactured. I'm going to take it, and there was some manufacturing error, and I'm going to ingest like 10 grams of caffeine and die. And they're going to say, man, all them dang drugs Garage Gym homie did on the streets. And some shady pre-workout took him out, man. I got so I got have a crazy fear of that, you know. So when I see where something's manufactured that it was legit, I like that, man. It gives me a a much calmer feeling to take a, a product from a company that um, I don't want to say a company I don't know, but a newer company. You know what I'm saying? To me, they're newer. So uh, so that's it, man. That's that's what I gotta say for you. So this is what they're giving us. They are giving us 30 servings. You money-hungry, penny-pinching son of a guns out there. You're winning with that, man. 30 servings right here. Giving us choline by tartrate, 980 milligrams. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. That's for the warm, fuzzy hug, the endurance, that revved up sense of urgency feeling, man. 3.2 grams. L-citrulline, 2 grams. That's for the pumps. That's, that's low there. So I think they're just giving us kind of enough to get by. Then they're giving us some agmatine sulfate, 500 milligrams. They're coming down here with, so I like that they're, first of all, to back it up, I like they're giving us one scoop, 12.5 grams. So they're not telling us half scoop, all that stuff. They don't, they're not making us do much, too much thinking, man. It's noisy up here. So we got to live from here, man. So when a company just tells me how much to take, and I don't have to think about it, I like that, man. I like that. So that's good. So caffeine, 400 milligrams. So that's a high amount there, right, for me. For me, a lot of you might see that and say, 400, man, that's, that's nothing, man. That's a daily pre. Because you all overdo it, man. You guys freaking overdo it. 400 milligrams is a high amount of caffeine, man. If you ain't feeling 400 milligrams of caffeine, you just, you're not practicing enough restriction, man. You don't keep your tolerance down. D-glucuronolatone, uh, 300 milligrams. I've seen that ingredient a lot. That, I think that pairs well with the caffeine. Then you got acetyl L tyrosine, 250 milligrams. Then they're giving us aryogenesis as N phenethyl dimethylene, 250 milligrams. That's a solid amount right there. That pairs well with the caffeine. That makes you feel good. It's another stimulant, gives you some energy, some focus. Octopamine HCI, 100 milligrams. Another, that's a solid ingredient too. I like that. Then theobromine. 100 milligrams that's like a cousin to caffeine a distant relative i'd say man through marriage and it has little similar uh properties you know a little energy a little mood elevation it all pairs well together man but of course you never know how, how this comes together then you got the isopropyl cinephrine 25 milligrams another stim so this is a, they're giving us the stims here 
They're delivering us, man. Then you'll himbine ACI, three milligrams. That's for the, uh, the schlong gains, man, the fat-burning properties, the thermogenic, a little heart rate racing. Then that Hooperzine A, 200 micrograms. Little Hooperzine, man, that's going to get you focused and dialed in, thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates. You know why. You know why. Because women don't like you, man. You, you were sitting there wondering. Start pumping some dang iron, man. So we like this, man. So, so uh, let's talk about the experience, man. Everything's got pros and cons, right? I'm here to give it to you straight. So just so you can imagine, the pumps on this are, are lacking. Almost, you know, they're claiming pump, but they're really just giving us a little agmatine and some citrulline. I would say you'd be safe to throw in a, a pump powder with this. You know, if you want to throw in uh, some pumps on top of this, let's just call a spade a spade. You'd be okay doing that, man. They're, they're giving us, if you want, like, the all-arounder here, because, you know, you see a label like this, the Araya, the Caffeine 400, the, all that stuff, man. You're here for the stims, man. That's what, that's what brought you to this, this party right here, man, not the pumps. So you can throw a little pumps on here, man. It would be okay. A little mad scientist do you right. So I'm going to say, first of all, the Blue Raz tastes good uh, for you flavor freaks out there, man. I don't generally comment on flavor, but it tasted like a good, solid-tasting Blue Raz. Didn't taste any of these stims. I just tasted like a straight, good-tasting drink, noticeable enough to comment. So here's what I'm going to say about this, man. This had extremely strong beta tingles that was this the beta tingles the energy and the endurance were the star of the show with this that's what i'm going to say about this this was not a mood elevation high as a kite you know i'm high i'm a drug addict i need to go to rehab type pre this was a healthy feeling pre that i would say if me personally if I took pre's like regularly, you could take this three, maybe even like three or four days a week and probably not burn your brain out. You'd be cool with that, man. You'd be cool with that. This is a good feeling, endurance, bodybuilder type of feeling. They don't really give us the all around package here just because of the pumps a little bit are lacking. I got good pumps because I know how to do the rep. But you could throw a pump ingredient on top of here if you, if you really want some standout pumps. But the stim effect is solid on this, man. The energy comes in strong, and the energy lasts all throughout the session with a good focus, endurance. Like, you just want to do set after set after set. The workout went really fast with this. The workout goes fast with this. Like, you're just kind of in the zone, training hard, getting down to business it's like a serious type of pre-feeling man it's just like a a nice aggressive energy um where it kept my heart rate up to like shoot toward the end of the dang workout it was at like 163 hitting the dang weights you know because i check my watch and stuff uh at the end here you know i keep a, a tab on what's going on so the point is this man if you want something that's going to give you that super good, the, I'm telling you, the energy, the endurance, the focus, star of the show with this, making the workout just go fast because you're just doing set after set after set, and you don't want anything crazy that's going to burn you out. Uh, this wasn't a crazy, as I said, man, mood elevation, high, any of that, just a physical good energy. And you can definitely feel the, you can feel all the stuff come together, just like the label, in, uh, just like the label says, man. It feels like pretty much what the label looks like is how it feels. And uh, it's just good, man. It's good for more of a regular use. I wouldn't call it a daily driver because it's, to me, it's too strong for that, man. To me, a daily driver is like two, up to 300 milligrams of caffeine. This is stronger than that. So if you want like a medium uh, stim pre-workout, if you're a stim junkie, you're for sure going to feel this. If you want like a medium stim pre-workout, 
that's higher than a daily, but not a crazy stim head. You know, if you if the dailies don't cut it for you and you just don't want the craziness, the illicit ingredients and all that, you want something by the books, this would be perfect for you, man. That's what I got for you, man. That's what I got. So definitely did feel good. I did like it, and uh, it was a good experience, man. I like this hitter right here. So, uh, man, Garage Gym homies just always going to give it to you straight till the end of days, man. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, you're probably overdoing it, man. But also subscribe to the channel together. Let's get this dang muscle, man. God bless all of you. I'm out.